guess what everybody i'm exposing one of my mom's recipes again hey guys it's me if you don't know me and welcome back to my channel or welcome to this channel if you're just clicking in and seeing this face for the first time what is up hopefully you guys are doing well wishing you guys good vibes good energy good health and good luck i am sharing with you guys the absolute best crab recipe there is out there i would say it's a mixture between vietnamese and chinese crab stir fry when friends and family come over they always ask for the recipe but we never give it to them my mom did agree for me to show it to the world she's gonna actually make a youtube channel herself to be speaking her own language which is vietnamese explaining it to that type of community so if you guys want to subscribe to her then please look out for her channel i will list it before we further get into the video make sure you guys smash that like button for my mom she's so kind and generous we're not going to only show you guys how to make this dish but we're going to bring you guys along to the asian supermarket to show you guys which live crabs you should get. You can also use frozen crabs if you like, but yeah, let's get rolling and start making the moves. It might be a little intimidating picking out your own crabs, but trust me, it is worth it. It is better than the frozen stuff. And I'm gonna give you guys some pointers on which crabs to pick. You want the best out of the best. The first thing you should do is look at the crab, look at the size of it. We want to make sure it is a large one and it is alive. So make sure that thing is crawling. The second thing you should look for is if that crab has two claws. Sometimes there's none, sometimes there's one, but we want to get the most out of it. The third thing you should do is flip the crab. We want to make sure that the crab has a nice yellow tint to it. It's like a mustardy color, but when you look at other crabs and compare them, some are whiter than others and you'll know what I'm talking about, but pick the yellow ones. Final thing you should do is squeeze the upper half of one of the legs and make sure that it's nice and firm, not soft and squishy. Now that we got our crabs and all the ingredients together, the first step is to wash the crab. Make sure you run it underneath some water and scrub it all over the place. In between the crevices, we want to make sure the stuff is clean because it is what is going into our mouths. Okay, the next step is a little too graphic for YouTube and a bit sensitive. So I'm just going to explain to you guys what we did to put Sebastian to rest. I'm not going to show it, is you just remove the top shell right here. You just grab this side and that side. Don't remove the elastic yet or else it will get you and pinch you. But you just want to remove this part and pull it up. It's going to get messy. This is why my mom does it at the sink with a pair of scissors. Once you reach the insides, you want to cut off the mouth area. Remove the side gills there because we're not going to eat that. Then you want to remove the abdomen by lifting up the flap and disposing that as well. What she does next is cut the crab in half, then remove those elastics, detach those claws and save that for later. She also trims the legs a little bit so it could be clean and not sharp. Then she cuts those into three. Then you want to do that for the other crab too. Our family loves that extra crab flavor, so we use some of the tamale from the crab shell. You see my mom pulling out only the sides of it, so that is the only part you need. You do not need the middle area. The hard part is over. Now we want to grab the powder mix and put that in a bowl. You're going to want to coat each piece of that into the powder. Make sure it's nice and evenly coated. Thank you. 
Next, we're gonna fry the crab. You're gonna put some oil in a frying pan or a pot on medium heat. Fry it for about two to three minutes until it's golden like this. Don't worry about it being not cooked because we are also gonna stir fry this dish. It is time we stir fry the crab. You're gonna need a wok for this. Set your stove to medium heat. First thing, you scoop in a big ladle of that oil we deep fried the crab in. Then add your garlic. We're gonna make that fry for a good hot minute. Once we got that garlic going, we're gonna add in the tamale we saved on the side. And you wanna break it apart. Don't underestimate how it looks. It looks kind of greenish and kind of yucky, but this stuff is so flavorful. It's so good, it adds so much to the dish. Drop in that chicken broth mix. Add sugar and water it down with a half a cup of that water. Then we're gonna wanna bring that to a boil before we throw in the crab. Toss your crab in and you're gonna want that sauce to coat everywhere. So mix it up, throw it out, pour it up, and like make sure it's nice and evenly coated. All right, the next step is to add in the ginger. It smells so good at this point. You're gonna wanna mix it and toss it around until the sauce also reduces. We're almost done here. The last thing to do is to add in the onions once the sauce has been dried up. We're gonna wanna cook the onions until it's nice and tender and has a little bit of a bite to it, so I'd say about five minutes. Thank you, Mama. Good morning, man. The crab is finished. Look at this. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mmm. We added some cilantro and some peppers on top, but you could only just eat it with just the onions and the crab itself. It's still delicious, but we usually eat it with some rice and some noodles or something. This is freaking amazing you guys i'm not even lying to you i am gonna take a piece of this and eat it i usually eat it with my hands mm. i got one of these pieces so good you can get a crab claw my mom's in the back and here it is you can break it with those uh, claw crackers. All right. Cheers you guys. This is it Mmm That is so good you guys must try this eat it with some onions Mmm, it was perfect. I'm not even lying to you. It's the best crab ever. I'm not even just being biased So if you ever try the recipe, please Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of it? Mmm So good! Hands down, one of my favorite foods at home. Mm -hmm. Especially the crusting on the outside, you could just gnaw on it. And then all the seasoning on this. Mm. Please smash that like button for Mama Bo. You guys must try this and let me know, okay? Make sure you leave in the comments below. Thank you, Mama Bo, for sharing 
this amazing crab recipe. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more videos and turn on that notification bell so you guys won't be missing out every single time when I drop a video. Thinking of exposing my family's recipe on pho. So look out for that. As always, take care of yourself. Try out this recipe. Take care of your loved ones and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!